Yo, what's up guys? Hope you guys are having a great day. Thana here, coming at you with another video. And today is going to be a bit of a departure from the norm. It's going to be more of a podcasty type of a video instead of a visual one. So, not much to look at here. If you're doing some chores around the house, if you're making some food, if you're just chilling out, whatever, doing some fades, grinding some dungeons, you know, that sort of stuff. Just fire up the video in the background and just listen to what I have to say. You're not going to miss much by not being glued to the screen. Um, so the topic of this video or this podcast is the community and a couple of issues that I have with it, I guess you could say. So before I could really be 100% confident with uh, what I was saying and, and standing behind my word when I was talking about the PvP community and recommending to a lot of new people because of my videos and guides. But in the past couple of days, I've had a lot of conversations with a lot of people and those conversations have sparked me to finally make this video and topic that I've been wanting to make for a while now, for a good while really. Um, but yeah, here we are and I'm finally doing that. So the first topic and thing that I'd want to delve into and talk about is the very prominent, aggressive and meme mentality in the community, mainly on the European side, I'd say. I think NA is a lot better than us in this respect. I'm not fully aware of this. I don't hang around in the North American uh, Discord channels too much. Um, and for anyone watching and isn't aware, Team Tryhard is the main PvP community Discord that I am like kind of like talking mainly here so you are aware what I'm talking about. So I th mainly see this as like a European issue, uh, mainly. So without getting into this topic uh, too much yet, I want to talk about competition. Uh, in any sort of competitive mode, competitive game, competitive anything in life, there's going to be a lot of... Uh, Emotions with the people who are passionate about it, people who want to win, and there's going to be frustrations. There's going to be a large variety of different emotions with people just competing over the victory or beating the other party. And there's healthy competition, and then there's unhealthy competition. I think in a healthy competition or competitive environment, any issue that is brought up, all those feelings that I brought up are going to be tackled and dealt with in a very understanding and constructive way. Maybe not initially, depending on how the issue and feelings are brought up. Um, but in the long run, people will most likely understand where you're coming from and deal with it appropriately. And then we have unhealthy competition is what I think is, is a very big thing on the European side. So I think that the, the mentality, the prominent mentality is, is everyone tries to one up each other. Everyone tries to be better than the other person in an unhealthy way. And everyone tries to sort of in every discussion, every topic, every argument, someone has to be right and someone has to be wrong. And I think this is very problematic and it is creating this sort of uh, very negative atmosphere in the Discord uh, or mainly on the EU side of the Discord um, where it's like this looming shadow that kind of affects every single conversation, every single topic, every single argument, uh, anything where everything is automatically going to be seen in a more negative light. No matter how the person who brings up the topic, let's say after a match that went pretty poorly, one of the people in the losing team uh, calls out or says, hey, um, why did you do this? Or, hey, um, what went wrong there? Uh, why did we die? Or whatever. It is automatically, no matter what the person's intentions are, going to be taken in a very negative way and almost sort of like a personal attack, you could say. Even if the person with their question wanted to present like this question to the team um, of what actually happened. They want to know what happened. And then maybe 
uh, go a bit further than that and have a discussion about why what happened happened and then how we can fix it and be more aware next time. And even if the person's um, intentions are like that, it is automatically going to be taken as this sort of like a personal attack and it's going to almost with 100% certainty end up in an argument. That happens a lot. And I think that is one of the big problems um, in the community right now and has been for, I'd say, years now. And there's also this very clique uh, click type of, um, I wouldn't say mentality, but the European side it works in a very click manner, or click A, however you want to pronounce that in where it's a very tight-knit community and it has its own jokes, it has its own memes, it has its uh, own things, own quirks. And for anyone coming in, it's, um, it's very daunting to sort of see all that, all the memes, all the, I wouldn't say trash talk, but it gets the point across. Um, and, and go through that, become part of the community, even though, you know, any community, you need to kind of understand what they're about. But in the chaos side of things, I feel like how it happens is you have to filter through so much memes, so much, just, just garbage in a sense. I know someone's going to be triggered by that, but please listen to me for them to fully understand as a person looking from the outside in what the community is about and see the positive sides of the community, you know? And this wouldn't really be an issue with me in any sort of way if this was a small subcategory of the community, you know, in the side. But because it's the main face of the PvP community on the European side, that is, I think, why there is an issue with this. It is, like I said, very daunting and not very uh, pleasant for anyone coming in to see that as the first experience they get, as the first thing they see. It's not going to give them a lot of positive feedback. It's not going to give them a lot of positive opinions. And they're gonna, not going to see the community in a positive light. And I think that's one of the uh, very problematic thing that it, things that it causes is it doesn't um, bring a lot of new people in when the first thing they see is that. And, and it's not sort of giving us any healthy growth in the community when, when anyone coming in to the European side is going to see that and think, oh, this is what the community is about. Unless if they spend a lot of time, which they might not uh, want to do, you know, a lot of time to get through that, filter through that, to actually see what the community is about. And I think, uh, like I said, it's fine if the, it's a sub community or whatever, but it's when it's the main community, any sort of main community should be easy to get into. So, new people coming in are going to have an, as an easier, as an easy time as possible in integrating into the community. And I think that's one topic and one issue that I have with the community right now. The second topic that I want to go into is respecting others and respect in general. I think that's very clearly missing from the EU community. Um, I think in a, a lot of discussions, a lot of topics, a lot of arguments, there is absolutely zero respect for the other person who you're talking with or people if it's a group conversation. I think it, what is missing is trying to see behind the other person's words instead of taking everything at a face value, trying to understand what do they actually mean with their words. Because let's be honest, 
I'm guilty of this too. I think everyone is. When they're frustrated, when they have those emotions in the comp competition running high, you don't always convey your feelings, your opinions and everything in the exact way you mean them. And you're going to sometimes come across as not exactly how you meant it um, or how you want it to come across. You sort of just blurt out quickly what you wanted to say uh, without thinking too much about how it could be taken and how it's most likely going to be taken. Um, and people are just going to take it as literally as they can. Not intentionally, of course, but that's what happens. And that's, I think, due to lack of respect. Lack of trying to um, not think that the other person is wrong and you're right. And trying to understand what the person is actually saying. If there's any truth to that. If we should listen to them and if we should take something out of that conversation and what they're saying and... And maybe reflect on that. I think that this whole respect thing is, is also a big issue. Is what I see. And uh, like I said, initially, I'll, um, someone might burst out in frustration. But when people start actually listening to the person, when people start actually hearing what they have to say, the conversation is going to go a lot further than just shoving your opinion in the other person's face and being done with it. If you try and listen to the person for a moment, the conversation is most likely going to end up in a much more positive place than it would be if you immediately shoot them down. And I think a great example of this was, it happened quite recently. I think a lot of the people who were participating or watching the chat at that moment could uh, recognize this situation and, and conversation that happened. Is person A is complaining about something um, and, and they're very frustrated about something. Uh, and person B comes in and says, hey, why are you complaining about this? Why are you doing what you're doing when you're not even actively participating? You're not bringing anything into the table, so why do you complain? And then person A is going to take that as a personal attack, which is very understandable. But I think if we look behind the words and further than that, we can see that both players are very passionate about the mode, passionate about the game, and and care about it. But they don't exactly convey their feelings and their opinions in the exact way they maybe meant them. I think person A just does not want to touch the game or the game mode because they care about it, but they're so frustrated about the state of it, which we will get in a bit. And person B is trying their best to breathe life into the community is as passionate as person A, but is just frustrated to see people who seemingly do not contribute as much as, um, as they are and are frustrated about that. But in both situations, if we look a bit deeper, we can see that both players are very passionate and care about the health of the game and the game mode and that it's good to make it better again. And that, I think, comes with respecting other people, respecting their opinions, hearing what they have to say, instead of just being in your own bubble and, and shoving your own opinion in everyone else's face. In general, I guess what I'm trying to advocate for is anyone coming to you, anyone talking to you, anyone confronting you, they're being rude, they're being disrespectful, still in that situation, confront them with respect. Um, hear what they have actually have to say, 
And I think that's going to take us a lot further as a community rather than keep on doing what we've been doing so far. And realize that even if the person is being uh, disrespectful, being rude, they might be just as passionate about the subject um, as you are. Even if they're doing it in a very different way. Uh, I think there's anyone having these conversations, arguments, whatever, are obviously very passionate about the game the same way as you are. They're just going about dealing with that frustration and bringing it out in a different way than you are. So I think that's kind of like the couple of things that I'm advocating for. And I think this is a great bridge to the last problem, issue, whatever you want to call it, that I see is happening and I have an issue with, which is the pent up frustration that is most likely within all of us at this point who have been in the PvP community for a while now. And I think that's really one of the reasons that's causing a lot of this to happen is a lot of people have, are frustrated um, because of the state of the PvP that has been for years now, that it's been for years now, and it is now as well. And, and it's sort of like the community as a whole feeling neglected uh, by Square and the dev team. And I understand that. I, I'm there myself as well. Um, but I think in that a lot of people don't know how to direct that frustration. They don't have a lot of sources to, you know, um, deal with that frustration and, and, and they aim it at other community members and all the newcomers coming in or anyone really. And I think that's one of the big reasons why this is happening. And I hope people would sort of think if, if that's you, um, the, I think a lot of people as well, when they, when they're frustrated with the PVP and a lot of people as well say this, I, I think you'll understand when I, when I say this, um, are shouting the very common phrases, um, sentences, whatever. For example, PvP has no skill anymore. PvP is literally Hello Kitty Island simulator with nine buttons and you can't fuck anything up. Um, Square Enix and the dev team fucked this up. Square Enix and, and, you know, I think all of you who have been in the community understand what I kind of mean with those st statements and things, things that people say. But... I think a lot of that is just people shouting blanket statements that don't really help anyone out of frustration. And I understand that. I get that. Uh, I think we're all there or have been there. But I think what a lot of people also need to realize is that does not help us in any way. That does not drive us forward as a community. That does not help the dev team to give us what we want or help us achieve what we want. You telling that the random development team member needs to jump off a bridge because they can't balance their PVP correctly does not help anyone. And, and I understand why everyone's frustrated and, and I think a lot of people, like I said, are shouting out of frustration. So if you recognize any of those things in yourself, I'd ask you to direct that frustration and, and the issues you have with PvP right now in a constructive way uh, and more productive way. That is going to help us achieve, I think, the same goal that we all want from the game, which is better PvP, make PvP great again, what have you. 
And I think one simple question is, is that I want to present to all of you who are watching and listening to this video is what is your goal? What do you want from the game? What do you want from Feast? What do you want from Frontlines? What do you want from PvP in general? What's your goal? Is it see the PvP create again? Is it see the PvP scene prosper? Is it see the PvP scene grow with a lot of good community members? Or do you want to see it fail? Do you want to see it crash and burn? Do you want it to become a dead wasteland where nobody plays it? And do you want it to be remain, really, as the joke of the community? The rest of the community, outside of our passionate group? Which do you want? If the answer, and I think a lot of us listening to this video, and a lot in the community, no matter how frustrated, the answer is the former. That they want to see PvP prosper, in a sense. I think that's the answer from most of you. And if it is, I think you need to realize that that if you're frustrated with the P state of the PvP and you recognize that sort of that goes into your negative attitude, why the EU community is what it is, and... If you're shouting out of frustration and and just not helping the community in a constructive way is to realize that that's not helping any of us. That's going against basically the exact thing, same thing we all want. That's going against the thing that you want if your answer was that you want to see PvP great again. That's going against, like think about it for a second, that's going against everything you want so i guess with what i'm saying is i want to make people realize that if that was your answer maybe you should see what you could do differently maybe you could see what you can do in the community to change this fact and and sure i see this as a problem i see this as an issue you may not agree with me and that's fine but why I'm presenting this question to you guys is to think about it for a second, to spark that conversation, that inner conversation within yourself or within amongst yourselves, to ask that question about uh, from yourself and and come to a conclusion. If the conclusion is different from mine, like I said, that's fine. I think it's just healthy for us to have that conversation and and find that conclusion and, and answer ourselves and i think that pencil frustration and whatever is the third i think main issue what i have with the community right now or rather how it's directed all right people i think that is the end of the video and i want to thank everyone who made it this far uh listen to everything that i had to say and did not flat out shoot me down with what I have to say and my opinions. And even further than that, I want to thank and appreciate the people who are now sort of reflecting on everything that I said, having that inner conversation or having that conversation within, uh, within the community and with each other about what I said and, and the topics that I covered and, um, is there any truth to what I said or am I just completely wrong in your opinion and uh, the community is fine, there's nothing to fix and it's business as usual. And like I said earlier, that's fine if you think that. Um, the point of this video is not for me to tell you that you're wrong, that there is absolutely something wrong in the community, but rather how I see it and to spark that conversation. The point of this video is to, for people to have that conversation, see the bigger picture and come to a conclusion about what they think.
the main point is that you come to your own conclusion, whether if you agree with me or not, rather than you must agree with me or something along those lines, you know. Anyway, um, how do you feel about like I just um, like how do you feel about the the podcast type of video in the channel? I know it's new and now it's something I've never done before. I'm not the best talker, so do please do forgive me if I was a bit all over the place. But what do you think of it? Is it a good addition to the channel? Should I do more of these? Should I cover other topics like this? And should I have more of like these podcasty types of videos where I just talk to you straight up? What do I feel about different topics in the community? Uh, I've toyed around with a couple of uh, topics such as the state of the PvP, for example. So please do leave all feedback. What do you think of the this format of a video and content on the channel. Is it welcome edition or is it is it terrible? <laughs> or what could be done better or whatever? Please do let me know that wherever you feel like giving me the feedback in. Anyway, <laughs> I think I feel like I've said anyway about 3,000 times now. And sorry for knocking the microphone, microphone if you heard that. Um, thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was insightful. Hope it will spark that conversation within the community. Like if you thought it was a good video. Dislike the shit out of it. If you thought it was bad, if you thought it was terrible, uh, but don't dislike out of disagree with me. Let's let's be about that. Anyway, subscribe for more content. Um, I'm sorry the scholar guide is taking a while. I just have not been playing the job at all recently, but. I will work on that and other forms of variety of different contents as well in the future. I'll get back on that. But yeah, thank you for watching the video. Take it easy, people, and peace.